welcome to my channel you guys and this is cinnamon um i don't really have like those regular intros that i usually do so girl don't eat my brushes bye and um she might be crying a little bit because the dog next door is um crying so she wants to go play she cannot go play and today as in my description I'm going to try to put powder on before I actually put my foundation on and see what is the better method. So it's kind of like reversing makeup because you were reversing the steps. Now the powder that I'm going to be using, let me wipe it off, is I'm going to be using my e.l.f. yellow powder. That's all it says on there. There are no instructions on the back on how to apply this or anything like that. But if you do decide to buy it, it's only like $6, which is amazing. And then it comes with this little pauta pad that you just, I don't use it, but you could. And I'm going to prime my face before I actually put the powder on to get the powder something to stick to. But I'm kind of nervous that like, the powder gets a little clumpy because my face will be wet. But I hope not. So I will get to priming and then I'll be back. I didn't mention that I used this MAC um, Prep and Prime. Like I said in every video that I have so far. Um, I get these samples from MAC website because I'm always ordering from MAC and guess what? I have a lot of prepping. Now, we are going to get into the most scariest part of this video and that's putting on the shallow power first. And I might also just add this. Dang it, I messed up my lashes. But I might add my CoverGirl, um, loose powder it's in 125 if you want to look at it i can't believe i got these under there and the reason why i'm using like this loose powder is because this yellow powder can make your face very bright and then cool it down a little bit i'm going to be doing that i'm so nervous to do this, put my hand under here. Well, it's in my hair. I'm like trying to get this off my hand as lightly as possible. And then I'm gonna wipe off the. That's so nasty. Ooh, that's disgusting. My face looks so ashy. I'm trying to wipe off like the excess amount. It looks pretty scary in person. And then it's in my eyebrow. I'm getting my cover girl. This is what it looks like. Hopefully it doesn't drop. And I'm just gonna use the same brush.
to be using the CoverGirl Queen Collection Natural Few. Honestly, I don't know if CoverGirl still carries this everywhere. I'm just gonna add, look how ashy my hand is, cause I didn't have my hand up in there. And we're going to get on to this process. kind of feel it like tugging a little bit. I don't know, maybe my skin sensitive. It feels, I don't know, so far it looks pretty good to me. What do you guys think? It looks fine to me. My face looks a little wet, but this foundation dry. I wonder if you're supposed to put like powder on after because you put it on first. Gosh, my face looks crazy like. It, my skin looks so flawless. Like, it's not even funny how just, like, smooth it looks in the mirror. Like, I'm actually shocked. It needs to dry up a little bit, but... Like, what is going on? Do I like this? Do I not like it? Like... I kind of do. My face does feel a little dry, but it's nothing where I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't live life. Um, I just want to say that I was feeling a little naked on my ears, so I went to go put on earrings, and these earrings do not look cute with this shirt, but me no cares. So say that as of now my face seems to be you know flawless enough um when I look at my close-up mirror um I don't see any issues I haven't used any concealer I haven't used any orange correctors I haven't used anything to try to fix my dark circles so for the fact that it looks like this I mean I feel like that says a lot about it so far and it is now 1:39, and i'm probably going to keep this on until about six seven o'clock at night and i'm gonna run a few errands i'm probably gonna go walk my dogs a little bit so they can stretch their legs because i know they try to be in my makeup room but i'm gonna come back and then i'm gonna give you more of my final thoughts but so far i give this method a thumbs up I don't know, by the time of the end of the day, I might be like, meh, or I might be like, don't think so. So, I'll be back later, you guys. Okay, guys, I have zoomed in my camera so you can better look at my face because all in here is a oily mess. And it is now 7.30. And I think I said that I, it was 1.30 when I last left. More of the story is I'm not, I'm not feeling this whole put the powder on your face before and everything else. Try to take a flash test. The reason why I didn't put like more powder on my face um, throughout the day was because I wanted to see like how this actual process um worked some people said it's been good but for me i'm gonna say this is a no okay that looks horrible okay. 
Yeah, this just looks bad, like. This will look completely bad, like my face matches my neck and everything. It, it, it just, I can't believe how horrible this looks. I'm just gonna delete it because I don't even want this monstrosity to like be in my phone. Ever, ever, ever. So yeah, we're just not, we're not gonna, not gonna do this anymore. And that is like my final thoughts about it. And I'm about to take this look off my feet. Let me do this camera right now. Oh, wrong, wrong way. So, hope you guys enjoyed my video. And make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. If you do subscribe to me, please put in the comment section um, hashtag lovebug so I can subscribe back to you. And also, let me know if you tried this and how would um, you go about it. Or if you tried it and you put more of this yellow powder on your face i don't know just let me know and like always return come back i'll miss you